Good morning. It's finally Friday. <laughs> I got a quick little video of something's on my mind, and I want to start to talk about gifts. You know, um, the, on the wall behind me is a lot of my bee stuff, and I got downstairs a whole museum of bee stuff, and, and I look at it as little gifts from heaven. And I look at the people that have given them to me as little gifts of heaven, too. So it, it's just great. But, you know, so many things... Um, People notice when I have something that has been given to me, uh, if I'm wearing something, you know, uh, whether it's a necklace or whatever it is, you know, people say, oh, that's so pretty, you know, and so like a jacket or, you know, because um, I do get, you know, we all get a lot of gifts. And so, but people will say to me, you know, that is just beautiful, but I can go to Dillard's, you know. <laughs> and find the most beautiful dress that I think is just really awesome. And I mean, I, I just feel like I'm really decked out, you know, nobody will notice nobody. I could pay, you know, $500 for a dress, you know, and actually, you know, I, I have bought things that just cost a lot of money and it's just, uh, you know, and then I get where they don't even look good on me anymore, you know, but when people give you a gift, it, it's just a heavenly thing, you know, and I just think it's just meant for you and it suits us, you know, because God knows better than we do. You know, I try to do for myself and God, it's just always better to let him do. But <clears throat> we're also talking about uh, in Luke uh, fourteen thirteen when it says giving, you know, give to people that cannot repay. I can't repay, uh, you know. I can't repay the gifts of all the people that have given to me. There's no way, you know, I could, which I should have maybe written them all down and, you know, said thank you to all, you know, and sent them out thank you cards and everything. But, you know, I, I work, for, I just hadn't done it, you know. And so it's like I just can't repay all the gifts, you know. We can't repay Jesus for what he did. We just cannot. We can't outgive God. And we can't give back to God. You know, I mean, by giving back to God, obviously, is is giving our life, you know, to the Lord. But anyway, um, but giving, you know, we can also talk about giving. We can give like to ministries and we can give things to people and, but they're, they're temporal, you know, and there's a difference between giving and committing. You know, if we commit to someone like to say, I'm going to give you so much every month, you know, and, and we, we, we partnership with them, you know, and it's a commitment. It's like marrying, you know. And so there's a difference between giving something to somebody and partnering with them. It's, it's a big difference. And so, you know, ask the Lord to let you know, like, there's different people. There's different places that I have partnered with, you know, for different. Like, I have this guy in Ohio that I partnered with for a very long time. And then, and, and different ministries and whatever, you know, that I've committed to giving to. And as opposed to every once in a while, yeah, I have a little stack. You know, I'll give to the uh, St. Jude or different ones, you know, Wounded Warriors, you know. But I'm not partnering with them. I'm just, like, giving them gifts every once in a while. But anyway, um, so, and because when we partner with somebody, and I'm going to talk about it's a relationship. So, um, in the Bible, it talks about in uh, Luke 4.34, you know, where uh, Jesus approached the demons and they, they said, oh, you know, Jesus of Nazareth, what, have you to, what, what do you want with us? You know, and we know, and they even said, we know that you are the son of God. We know that you're the Holy One. So <clears throat> they knew who he was, you know, but they weren't, um, they weren't marrying them. They weren't joining with them. They are not the daughters. And so the Lord kind of showed me the other day, that there's a lot of people, and I've heard not too long ago that, you know, a lot of ministries that are busy doing all this stuff, and it seems like they never seem to go anywhere. They never seem to help because the problems just keep on, keep on, keep on, like Haiti, you know. And so a lot of people are doing things that they say are for God, you know, but they're not called to do it, you know. And you know what? If you're doing all these things, if we're doing all, and, you know, I'm guilty too, you do all these things, and they're not of God. You're not, you know, you're not called to do all these things. You know, they're not blessed. And so um, you is a difference between being the daughter of the Lord, you know, or being the maidservant, you know, or being the uh, just an acquaintance. You know, it's a difference between being related and in a, in a relationship and or just being a friend or, you know, so uh, don't spin your wheels. You know, sometimes we're spinning our wheels on stuff that really God has asked us to call to or called us to do, you know. 
So um, I'm going to end with, I got this friend that's in China. <laughs> and uh, we, actually, he was a friend that I knew from high school, and we hooked up a few uh, few months ago. But anyway, he reminded me yesterday. Uh, we, he was texting me or messing me, however we do it. And um, the last thing he said, he says, I've already seen Friday, and it's good. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because he's 24 hours ahead of us. He's a day ahead of me. And so he, he just, he said, you know, here's your Asian guy, you know. And uh, he says, I've already seen Friday and it's good. And I thought, you know, that's, um, you know, like I think about Australia that celebrates New Year's Eve, you know, like the, the day before because they're already there, you know. But that's how God is. God's already there. He's already seen your day. He already knows your future. He's already, you know, prepared. And he's already, and he's always saying, and he's already saying, this is good. So I'm looking at my um, Jesus Calling book. And I'm going to read this familiar scripture. And it says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And this is Isaiah 41.10. So he's always with us. He's always going to take care of us. He's always going to watch over us. So I'm going to end this thing with um, a, a, really some good news. Is we have another sister in, in love. And that joined the kitchen table recently. And she's been to our meetings a couple of times. And her name is Linka Crosby. And I don't know her that well. She's been invited. I love people that invite people. You know, so she was invitee. And it's great. You know, I like to be an invitee myself. And, uh, you know, there's some places that you can't even get in unless they're invitee, you know. But, of course, that's not the case in, our, in the kitchen table. But it, it is a special thing when some come in and they've been invited in because it's great. And um, so who, who wouldn't love to be invited into the marriage supper, right? You know, that's what the Bible talks about. I think, I'm not sure if Neola or Vera, I'm not sure who uh, invited her, but she... Um, she and I looked up on her Facebook page and I realized that she's bilingual. And I think about her being multi purpose, like a multi blessing. You know, this girl, you know, there was used to be a um a play out years ago was called Man for All Seasons. So I think of Linka as being a woman for all seasons, a woman that can God is blessing in every area of her life and she is gonna be a blessing for us. So um I can't wait and we'll see you Saturday, four o'clock. And if not, you know, just uh, keep on keeping on and tuning in and uh, and posting on the kitchen table, whatever the Lord leads you to do. And it leads you to say, you know, whether you're looking for prayer requests or you know, blessings or thankfulness or whatever, you know. So just post away. And I love you guys. And Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.